on YouTube, my name is Chris and we'll go back to the video. We're gonna quickly react to this video right here. This is really says respond to Star Wars the Rescue Curve was upsetting. So I don't know if we ever heard about heard about talking the movie like in a bad way. I was going through YouTube when I saw this video. You know what? I'm gonna react to this and see what she says about Rise of Skywalker. So let's listen to the video. Let's talk a little Star Wars. Yep. Uh, before we look ahead, which I know we can't say much anyway because mm -hmm. there's not much to say. Mm -hmm. But we never really had a little post mortem on Rise mm. of Skywalker. So I just, if you'll indulge me, sure. I feel like we could have this conversation after each one of those three films. Okay. Divisive to say the least. Yeah. You were feeling very confident. Everybody felt very confident. JJ was confident. No, 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 man. If you go back, there's that one interview. Like, like every time the actors were talking about the movies, you can say they were depressed. They were not really satisfied with the product they were filmed. They, they knew, like, anyways. Probably because they were tired of that universe, but... surprised by how divisive it was? The reception to it? No, 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 no. It was not divisive. Nobody, like, trust me. Listen, I know some people are like, Oh, I love all the Star Wars. I'm a Star Wars fan. Sure, you can say that, but the worst movie. I mean, you don't have to hate the movie. Sure, if you like want like, if you want to love all the Star Wars movies, but it's definitely the worst of the nine Star Wars movies is Rise of Skywalker. Or in your heart of hearts, was I like, surprised? Yeah. Was she surprised that I got hated? That's what you just said. Wait, I didn't. To say the least. Yeah. You were feeling very confident. Everybody felt very confident. JJ was confident. Mm -hmm. Were you surprised by how divisive it was? The reception to it? <laughs> I mean, it has like, I think it's like 56. Is it 56% of Rotten Tomatoes? No. I think it is, right? I think it is. I saw Skywalker. I think, I mean, I don't, everybody trusts Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, 51 Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, so it's, it's at 51, so. Heart of Was I like, surprised? Yeah. Were you surprised, Dizzy? Uh, I think it's still upsetting because you don't want people to feel like you've like not served sure. the thing that they're a fan of you can't blame the actors or actors for this it is the fourth the writer so for the director aka dj abrams it's not her fault it's not john boyega's fault it's not Oscar isaac's fault it is not the actor's fault it's not mark amal or Ernest ford or curry fisher it's none of those people's fault it's the f or an driver and the main actors or Oscar is or Adam Driver is the fault of the director and writers. Force of Kim was again an okay movie, again a copy of for of a new hope, but you know, like a different with different characters. Last Jedi was the only thing that was bad about the Last Jedi. There are some very cool scenes, some of the coolest scenes in Star Wars, like the like the light speed uh, have shift and everything. The throne room five was I think on lighting and everything. There's some stuff I like about Last Jedi. You know, but then you have the Luke stuff, which I, you know, I grew up with the prequels, but I also watched the original when I was a kid. And I grew up being a huge Luke fan, and seeing Luke at that was, it was underwhelming as fuck, to be honest. And then, uh, of course, the Kessnoo scene. There's some, you, you, there's some stuff you can remove. And, and Ro saving Finn from sacrificing himself was so dumb. I feel like, yeah, I'm gonna say this right now. Finn in the Force Weekend was okay character. The last Jedi, he just turned out like a bit, and the Rascal, he didn't do shit at all. He really didn't do nothing at all. He was just like they could have removed him from the movie, and like I appreciate nobody would have even noticed. But would have been like, "Where's Finn?" But I knew we would have give a shit. So he, he probably would have been better off by Chris Tucker him in his out at the end of the last Jedi. But anyways, but uh, uh, Ryan's one was so divisive. <laughs> you think? Okay, so she skips the question. Okay, last should I yes was very decisive, of course, because of Luke Skywalker. Now, is it listen? If, if Luke would have been, I'm gonna say normal. Okay, now, okay, here's the thing. I do understand in 2024 the reason why Ryan doesn't this with Luke. I understand why he explained it. I understand it, and I don't say that if I agree or disagree with the decision that he did with Luke. Okay, I agree with that, but. Think of the fans. You're making those movies. Like, the first movie of Force Creamer was okay, alright? And then Rogue One was good. They, Disney had an okay shot with the first two movies. And it's just like... And then it had The Last Jedi Solo Rescue. It just went downhill. So it's not the worst. But it's definitely... Like, it's far from, like, what we got for, like, Rogue One. You had Rogue One coming out, which was... Again, not, like, you know, like, Empire or Revenge of the Sith or New Hope. Like, hype, you know, how good it is. But it is my t it's my number five favorite Star Wars movie. Like, my, my, my top five is Rogue One, Return of the Jedi, A New Hope, Empire, Revenge of the Sith. Like, I really, really love Rogue One, man. Like, I adore Rogue One a lot. You know? And it's like, and after that, we just went downhill. 
so <laughs> yeah so it really felt like the first one was fairly yes. everyone was like yes. responsive also make over two billion dollars but for again force game was not that bad we're just like again a copy a copy paste a little bit ish of of a new hole but it was okay i i was in theaters and i was I, yeah i liked it i mean i was only 14 at the time but in a similar way this works thank god yeah. how did it happen and a then miracle. ryan's one super divisive and then the last one super divisive um yeah it was still yeah well it probably makes it bittersweet because like you're saying goodbye to this amazing period in mm. your life and but you want to go change how i felt about it right you had the experience you love these people and what was strange is literally before i had breakfast with kathy last year I'm just gonna say this right off the top. Nobody that is a fan of I'm gonna say Lucasfilm because Indiana Jones is also part of the Lucasfilm, you know, and Star Wars. But um, nobody loves Kenneth Kennedy. Like I know they recently put uh, Dave Filoni as one of the chairman at, at Lucasfilm. Thank, thank, the, thank the Lord they did that. But like, I just say nobody loves Kenneth Kennedy. Nobody does. I had already been on set because we were making Magpie right after Sundance. And I had like five people come up to me and go, are they gonna do any more with you? Like, and it was really strange, like in the sort of six to eight months before that, the, the way with which I was being greeted by people's response to it was quite different than it had been. Right. And I think just time had passed and it didn't feel- No, no, it's been four, it's been five years, well, four years since Westworld came out, first in two months, whatever, and I'm still right now, I don't think people will still hear that movie, people still put it at the bottom. Like, every time I see the like, regular Star Wars movies, it's all, uh, the, always like, like the top wars, is exchangeable between a Tower of the Clones, a Phantom Menace, and Rise of Skywalker. I never see any other movies at the bottom. Like, it's, most of the time, it's Attack of the Clones and Rise of Skywalker, like, at, like, at the bottom, bottom, bottom of the list. I mean, if, if you, I mean, if you count a Clone Wars movie, in, if you want to rank those movies, sure, it's on the bottom for sure. But, you know, but live-action-wise, those two are what is there. So, like, imme yeah, immediate. It was, it was, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so that was what was really strange, because people were, like, talking to me about it. I was like, no, I don't. Like, I don't think so. I don't think so now. Yeah. And then it happened. Um, the, the I'm going to say this right now, Okay. I'm not going to say that I, I'm not going to be judging the Ray movie, whatever it's going to be called, before it, it drops. I'm not going to have any expectation from it. I'm going to go see in theaters because I, everything in the Star Wars Marvel, I go see in theaters. If it's on Disney Plus, I watch it. Except for Resistance, I'm watching Resistance like that. Um, but I watch every piece of Star Wars and Marvel. I love those two really much. Um, it's, you know, as much as I hated season three of Mandalorian, you know, it was worth. Uh, so I'm not gonna have any expectation, no high or no low hopes. If I like it, I like it. If I, if I hate, it, I hate it. I'm gonna be very neutral with that Ray movie. The one, the, the one specific thing I wanted to ask about for the Rise of Skywalker. Where were you at on the on the kiss moment? Were you like this is gonna work or like? Oh. <laughs> Uh, one of the most awkward Star Wars scene of all time. You, you, let me ask you this: What do you think? What do you think is more cringe? The rest of the Skywalker kiss, or the flirting with Anakin and Padme in the title of the clones. Chat. Let me know your comments. We guessing like what's more cringy, the kid, the kiss between Kylo Ren and Rey at the end of the rest of Skywalker, or the flirting between Anakin and Padme? And because bro, like that was cringe, man. The, that kiss. Are we really doing this? Well, we did one without. Yeah. Why did you not win the one without? Um. Where was I with it? Well, yeah, where? where Adam was like, was everybody in sync? Like, okay, like, or we're just gonna try this if it works. Well, and he had it great. Adam had to like rap and literally got up from that scene, which was like so emotional and everything. It was like, bye guys, <laughs> I'm going to New York. Um, so that was. I I've said this before. I'm gonna say this in this video. Like my two, my well, three favorite characters from that trilogy was Kylo Ren, uh, Kylo Ren, Adam Driver. I loved it. As as much as like he had lazy line the rest of character, but I really like Poe in the first two movies. You know, I loved him. I love Oscar Isaac, and I loved uh, BB-8. You know, I don't, I don't hate, I thought you're allowed to hate on BB-8. Like those, like the rest of the character, are just and of course, you know, you I could say Luke and Lando, you know, those characters. You know, like Lando was, shoot, it was nostalgic to see him in the rest of Skywalker, but like he didn't do much at all. It was just like let's just had him just have like a rash from theaters. That's that thing again. I love Billy Billy D. Williams. Don't get me wrong with that. It's just again, it was just if you don't put it in the movie, you don't change the movie. You know what I'm saying? And let maybe like maybe like the end when he like brings all those ships again. That was just like. Yeah. 
Yeah, he literally uh, kissed you off. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, see you later. Yeah. Um, I felt like we all, it felt earned. Yeah. And what was interesting, again, I think it's like intentionality. My feeling in that moment was it was a goodbye. Yeah. So it, that felt earned. Because, I mean, you could call a kiss a thousand things, but I felt like it was a... You can call it cringe. Goodbye. And that whole scene felt so emotional. And I felt like I was saying goodbye to the job. And, oh God, yeah. and then actually we had to pick up something that was missed. So on my very, very, very last, in fact, no one knows this. On my very, very, very last day and we were doing various pickups and stuff, uh, I had to literally sit and look and the camera was like coming away from me. And I would guess I was looking at him. Uh, and I, JJ was like, you good? Literally immediately started like, crying my eyes out because it really felt like goodbye yeah yeah and then i did a such an embarrassing rap speech i mean <laughs> someone's recorded it somewhere like just so embarrassing and self just unintelligible or was it like crying um, or was it just... <laughs> amazing time. and by the way i was like don't give me the mic jj like don't give me the mic but i was like thank you all like <laughs> crazy crying honestly again again I don't know, like, I feel like she's definitely, like, here's the thing, I, I understood, like, filming those three movies, you know, and, like, the, again, I was probably her biggest kick in her life, you know, and ever since she had the, probably more of her life filming those movies, and I can understand why, you know, listen, if I was in the Star Wars movie, man, I would have the best time of my life, you know, but I feel like she's definitely the movie way too much, again, again, I don't hate, I just want to say this right now, I do, I do not hate this, really, I don't hate John Boyega, I don't like, in, you know, like, those characters, like, I don't like the actors, because it's not the actors' fault, they did their job, they did what they were told to do in those movies, you know, so I have nothing against that, I have something against J.J. Abrams for the rest of the and then John, Ryan Johnson for the last and uh, and Ron Howard for, so, again, that was just a weird movie, the, yeah, I, I, again, here's the thing, every movie that of those, like, five Star Wars movies that are from Disney, there's one thing I like from each movie, Force Weekends, you know, I love, like, you know, this, most, most of the movie is good, you know, I haven't really, Rogue One, it's a good movie, especially that Vredis in the end, which, fun fact, was ever by Dave Filoni, The Last Jedi, I loved, again, the, the, the uh, life speed, production, the ship in two, and half, and I like the, Throne battle between Kylo Ren and, and Ray team up to the Snoke's guard. I love those scenes. Solo, I love everything when it comes to Donald Glover's Lando. I really, really love Lando. That movie it was amazing. I love it, Lando. And they're making the Lando TV show, which I'm excited. I would be watching. And I don't care. I'm going to be loving it because I love Lando. And the rest of Skywalker, I mean, I don't know what I like about that movie, man. It's, it's like, do, do I love anything in that movie? I don't even. I want to be honest. I don't even know if I can tell say if something I love about the Russell Skywalker. To be honest, I do not know. I do not know if I can like, tell about Russell Skywalker, man. I'm trying. I'm just trying to think. I don't think I have nothing. Like thing I like about Russell Skywalker. I guess Kylo Ren that movie, but that's like you know, and and then uh, and then General Hoss being uh, a spy. I I don't even know, man. It's hard to tell. Anyways, this was my reaction to this weird clip of this really trying to defend Russell Skywalker. I love the fact like as soon as he asked her about the controversy about Russell Skywalker, he she goes in like Mitch's Lynch like, before she talks about saying like, yeah, but not just that movie was bad, right? That shit was bad too. Yeah, but like I think we can all agree that Russell Skywalker is worse than Lynch. Like, as much as I hate those two last movies, I would rather Lynch like, over Russell Skywalker any day. I have only watched Rescue once in theaters, and I watched it once when my ex when we watched all the Star Wars movies together. She never watched Star Wars with my ex, and I made her watch all the movies. And like, I wanted to skip that movie, but I said, you know, I'm gonna, you know, we watch all of them. You know, we were finished the, the saga, but I've only watched the movie twice. Last year I watched, I think like me like four or five times, um, because usually when I when I do like Star Wars marathon, I skip those three movies, like the last three. I watched Rogue One. And I'm you know, between three and four, and that's it. Like I don't, I don't watch the sequels. I'm gonna do Star like like once a month. Maybe I'll do once a day. You know, whatever. You know, it, again, it's just it's controversial. Anyways, this was my reaction to this video. If you guys want to see more reaction video, to uh, let me know in the comments. Don't forget on Sunday we will be live and we'll be reacting to the Deadpool trailer, Deadpool three first trailer during the Super Bowl. I'm not gonna be watching the Super Bowl because I, I want a reaction of it and I can't pre record the Super Bowl because that will get strike faster than anything else. Um, so if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, you know, if you're new, and uh, let me know in the comments uh, what you think about this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys, and see you guys on there.